the best thing that is when you check in, they don't just address an eating disorder or your substance or your substance abuse. They really get to know you and really ask the really, really, really hard questions that get down to the basis of it, of what is going on. And I think that was what really helped me out the most was that it wasn't, I was, they forced me to be honest and a and, hundred percent honest. And once you let them know what your problems are, they, that's their, that's their job. Then they can formulate a plan to help you out. So um, coming in, it was just, all right, here's my substance abuse problems. Here's what I'm dealing with on the eating side. And I know they're related, but let's form a plan on how to help me out. So so in retrospect, what do you think was the value of treating your eating disorder alongside a substance use disorder? Um, I believe if I treated them separately, I wouldn't be where I am today because Treating them separately would have been too difficult of a task at that point. If I went into just the eating disorder center and didn't talk about substance abuse, I still had that whole problem. That was still an issue. Now, if I went into alcohol rehab and didn't treat my eating disorder, that was still an issue. So I had to treat both of them at the same time. That was the most difficult part was trying to treat both of them at the same time and to separate withdraw from from eating disorder symptoms, and trying to separate everything out was obviously the toughest part of the, my team and what they had to do, but really just, as I said, being honest with them and telling them what my past was and where I'm trying to get to, they really had a good plan, and it all centered around anxiety. Great. With me, it was, it was we figured out that anxiety was the trigger for everything else. So if they could address my anxiety, everything else in my life would, would kind of fall into place. And Great. so that's where they started with me. Until I convinced myself that my alcohol and my eating was an actual issue. Um, I was 22, 23. My parents told me I was an alcoholic. Didn't care. Um, I knew I had eating problems, but didn't care. You know, now that I'm 27, um, I made the choice. And, and it's, I think it's all about the individual. When the individual is ready to change, amazing things can happen. But until they're ready to change, um, I don't believe they will be successful. Um, you don't come to treatment and just magically get fixed. There are bumps along the road. There are hard days. There are easy days. Um, but the future, for me, is bright. Um, I, as, as, as I said, I'm seven and a half months sober. I don't plan on looking back on that. Um, the eating, as a, it, it, it's a day-by-day -day choice. I have to make choices every day to stay on the path that I'm on. And as I said, there are very tough days. But with those tough days, you have to respond the right way. And it's how you respond to those bad days that will really determine how you're going to end, 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 end up. Because if you let those bad days take you down, you can spiral into a whirlwind of problems. But if you can just step back, that was a bad day, that was a bad two days, it's yeah. going to happen. You know, over the rest of my life, we're going to have bad days. But knowing, thinking back on my treatment plan, thinking back on my, on my team and everything that I've been through, mm -hmm. everything that, I, that I've been through and my will to not get back to where I was really leads me to my future. And my job, I have a great job, um, great family, great, su great support. So really, I, I have a very, very good outlook. Um, as I said, I still know that I have to be aware of it. And I think that's the main, main part, is that if you know it's going to be there, it is going to be there, but, but you have to do steps to control it, and you have to have a plan. If you don't plan it, it's not going to work. So you got to have a plan, and I, I, I think that's the main thing that I could tell to anybody is be honest, have a plan, and stick to your plan.